So that brings us to this kind of broader question, which is, is Hubble's classification system an evolutionary diagram? So Hubble himself thought, you know, maybe it's possible that the elliptical galaxies turn into spirals over, the, over time. Or maybe the opposite occurs, that spirals turn into ellipticals over time. But nothing like this um, in, the, in this particular um, tuning fork configuration um, was really supported by the evidence at the time. So we don't look at Hubble's classification system as an evolutionary diagram, even though we do think that galaxies do change over time. All right, so the example of a spiral may be becoming an S naught, a lenticular galaxy over time. That's one example of how galaxies might change due to you know, gas being depleted by star formation, for example. And we'll see that other things can happen to galaxies to change their um, shape over time as well. So the evidence that we have that this tuning fork is not an evolutionary diagram is that if we look at the galaxies that we see today, um, we look around, we find some uh, ellipticals, we find some spirals and barred spirals. And if it was true that, um, that elliptical galaxies turned into spiral galaxies over time, then we would expect to see lots of spirals today and fewer spirals in the past, right? Um, but we can look back through time and four billion years back in time, we can see spirals, barred spirals and ellipticals. And 11 billion years back in time, we can still find spirals, barred spirals and ellipticals. So even though their numbers may be changing with time, we can still find some representative types of these galaxies at many different times. 